Hey everyone, today's video is for my handbag addicts. Those of you who are like me, who you don't care what the price point is, there is always room in your collection for another handbag. And I have a handbag for you at every price point. Today's video is to highlight the videos I've added to my collection, honestly, over the last few years that have not had their moment in the sun, specifically on my YouTube channel. So you may have seen them in outfit posts on Instagram, but I haven't had a moment to share them specifically here. There might be one or two overlaps, but better to overshare, I think in this case, than undershare. So I have some finds from Amazon, some from a more mid-range price point, and then I do have a few luxury handbags I have picked up over the years. And we're going to end with my birthday present that just happened last week. So if you like handbags, no matter what the price point, you're in the right spot, let's get started. We're going to start with the more budget friendly and I'm pretty sure I talked about this in a recent Amazon haul. I think I did and if I didn't, we're gonna talk about it again. This handbag is from one of the Amazon house brands and it comes in quite a few faux leather options, but I specifically picked this one that looks like raffia because one, I wanted something for spring, summer, and two, this shape very much reminds me of one of my favorite YSL bags, the Nikki, specifically the baby Nikki. And we'll be talking about that later on in the video. This is a great smaller to mid-sized bag. It's not a micro bag. I don't understand the micro bag trend. I just, I really don't. You, I have to at least be able to get my phone in this thing. This one can fit quite a bit more. So it's a nice structured bag. It will hold its shape. It has a magnetic closure. It is fully lined on the inside, has a zipper pocket in here. Like I said, one big fully lined pocket here. Something I really like about it is you can wear it a couple of ways. You can pull the chain through like this. It does have a faux leather strap here so it can rest on your shoulder. So you can wear it more like a shoulder bag if you pull it just like that, or you can pull the chain all the way through to the top and then this can rest on your shoulder or wear it you know, over your, like a crossbody like that. So very versatile, great price point. I do think there's a missed opportunity for an external pocket. If I were to design the bag, I would have added that. But for this price point, you really can't complain. It's a really fun bag to wear. I've taken it out a few times already. The woven tote or woven handbag trend has been around for a little while. And I have to share that I'm not a handbag aficionado. I'm not super familiar with what high-end luxury bags, brands I should say, have inspired, inspired lookalikes or whatever. Generally, I just buy a bag because I like how it looks or it fits a hole in my collection. So in this case, I'm pretty sure that the woven bag trend was started by the brand Negetti or Negetti, and I have one and it's okay. Okay, but I have two from Amazon, one I've shared many, many times before, and then I picked this one up during the big prime sale in March, and I love this one, and I will be wearing this one in place of the other one. So why do I like this? First of all, look at these straps. You can actually easily fit this over your shoulder. The Negetti and even the first tote I've shared earlier from Amazon, they don't fit easily over your arm. In fact, people recommend putting hand weights in one of these, the original version, tote bag, and then hanging it on something so that the weight can stretch these out. That is crazy. Did I still buy it? Yes. So I found this one during the Amazon sale, and so the straps are already nice and long, so I don't have to contort myself or contort the bag to fit it over my shoulder. Also, all the other totes that I have seen like this are just open. They don't, they don't close. This one, I think you can see, has a magnetic closure. So your stuff is a lot more secure. The rest of it is very similar to the other bags. It comes with a matching pouch, smooth leather in this case, and it, the pouch has a little zipper inside it. I like this one better than the Negetti one. The Negetti one is the same woven material, so it's thick, it's heavy, and it's one big open pocket on the inside. So this is actually an upgrade. Oh, this is one of my lipsticks. How many bags have you gone to months after you've last used it? In Oh, that's where that lipstick went. Okay, so good thing I looked. And it's a nice big open, one giant open compartment. And this 
does have a removable stiff bottom to give this some structure. I will say that I started carrying the other version of this tote with a felt organizer that I found on Amazon that gives it a little more shape and makes it a little more user-friendly as far as finding your stuff in the bag. And I will link that one. It comes in a ton of sizes, ton of colors, obviously because it's from Amazon, it's super affordable, but this is just a fun, easy tote for, I would say just year round, especially if you pick a color like this, which is essentially neutral and goes with all the things. Now we move on to what I'm gonna call the mid-range bags. These are higher end bags for sure, price points similar to Tory Burch, Coach, Kurt Geiger, but there's one brand in particular that I am very loyal to. I've been carrying these bags for well over a decade. I started off as a fan, and then just a few years ago, I actually had the opportunity to work with the brand and design my own handbag, the Marnie Satchel, for those of you that remember. It was one of their best sellers, and it was so well-loved that we are bringing it back for this year. Now, it's not ready yet, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me over on Instagram to get the up to the minute details on that. But I have added a few more Gigi bags to my collection since the last time we shared. So the first one is a redesigned version of one of their classics. This one's gonna be hard to see because white is tricky on camera, but this is the Madison bag reimagined in a woven leather. I love this texture. It does come in other colors. It is a great size for a concert or some kind of special event. It will get you into concert halls and stadiums, that kind of thing. It is a nice structured bag. It does come with a matching, more of a smooth leather strap that is detachable, so you can swap it out for something else. And I've left mine stuffed. I've learned to do that over the years. And inside, one big compartment with the GG New York canvas logo inside, and then it has a slip pocket right there that you can, it's a pretty good size slip pocket on the inside. I, in particular, wanted it in the white because I love a white handbag for spring, summer, and this is a great size for going to all the outdoor events that I tend to go to as we move into the warmer months. Another Gigi bag I've had my eye on for a really long time. I get really specific with what I want in a handbag, and I had been looking for a metallic leather that wasn't too dressy, something that could dress up a casual outfit, and probably I could get away with wearing to a dressier event as an evening bag, but I could also carry during the day. I just wanted something super versatile. I actually don't know the name of this one, I usually do. This comes, I believe, in some other options as well, but I love this soft gold. I love the shiny gold hardware, the knots on the strap. It's a double strap, and you wear it as a single strap. It's a really pretty silhouette. Again, it's a really good size to carry to a concert or an event, and it'll, it'll fit, I think, the security guidelines. On the inside, it is lined with that same GG New York fabric and it does have a slip pocket here. And I will say, I think all the GG New York bags, their slip pocket is always trimmed with the coordinating leather that comes with the outside of the bag. So I think that is a beautiful detail. And one of the reasons that I love Gigi New York, other than the quality of the bags are outstanding, is their leathers are sourced in Italy from the same place where a luxury retailer also gets, I shouldn't say retailer, a luxury brand also gets their leather. And I don't know if I'm supposed to share the name of the brand. It rhymes with Scormez. Okay, so same place, same leather, and everything is handmade here in the United States, a small family-owned business. So I love supporting that, and I love this bag. I've worn it out at night, and I have also worn it just casually with jeans and a t-shirt. I had also been looking for more of a structured, larger satchel type, almost like a tote that if I'm going to go work, say at a coffee shop or over at a friend's house and I'm bringing a bunch of work stuff, my laptop, et cetera, I can carry that with me. And this is again, part of Gigi New York's new spring collection. I love this woven. I love the smooth leather. I love this color. I think it is gorgeous. This does come in other options. Love the gold plate and it's a very, structured bag. Look at the inside. How many of you have said to me that you would love it if you could find a bag that wasn't lined in black so you could see what's on the inside? Well, they went a step further and it's this beautiful blue color on the inside. It does have this snap here to keep it a little bit closed, but you just pop it open, there you go. It doesn't have any inside pockets because it literally is woven with these leather big pieces. And it does come, I didn't do the whole thing, but it does come with a detachable 
shoulder strap and the coordinating leather if you wanna carry it over your shoulder. I think this bag is a good candidate for one of those felt organizers to go inside, especially because it doesn't actually have any inside pockets. And now is the point where we get to the luxury handbag collection. So in no particular order, except at the very end, I'm gonna share my most recent acquisition, which is my birthday present that I, I picked. Like my husband did not see this bag and think, oh, Marnie will love this. None of these bags have been a surprise. I find the bag, I send the link to my husband and I say, this is what I want. We are well past the point in our marriage where yes, it's nice to be surprised, but when you're looking at these big ticket items, we wanna make sure that we're getting the other person exactly what they want. So he sends me guitar links and I send him handbag links. So this is the Chloe small woody linen tote, I believe. I will just say, I am probably the worst handbag reviewer. I don't know houses or what's inspired what, or sometimes even the names of the bag. I just see a bag, I like it. And you know, if it fits what I'm looking for, I know there's lots of handbag channels here where they get into great detail and they know the history. And I am not that person. I just like pretty things and if I think they're pretty. Okay, anyway, so this is clearly a Chloe handbag. <laughs> Since the branding says so. It's this small woody linen tote, I believe. This bag comes in quite a few varieties. This is the pale pink option. I have seen this with a lot of different color canvas parts and then this leather is also different color. So it's getting harder and harder for me to find the exact link for this color combo, but I will do my best to find it. There's an all other version. There's a medium, ver there's a lot of different versions. What I like about this one is that the leather goes all the way on the bottom. So when you set it down, it's actually resting on the leather, not the linen part of the tote. It is on the smaller side. It is a big open compartment. It doesn't have a closure. It has one slip pocket here. It is lined in the, well, it's not even lined. It's the same linen material on the inside. I like the little handles and it does have a detachable and adjustable shoulder or crossbody strap. So I like to wear it crossbody, but I also like the opportunity to carry it top handle. And it's interesting because when I first started getting into handbags, I would have hated this bag. And it's just interesting how tastes change. And now I actually prefer the top handle and to carry it in the crook of my arm. We're gonna go back in time a little bit. This bag I actually got for Mother's Day 2023. And I don't know the exact name of this. That's terrible. I know it's a Gucci. I know it's part of their Marmont collection. What I love about this and why I picked this particular one is the versatility of it. And generally, you're gonna see that over and over with the bags that I've picked out. Whether it's the Amazon bag that you can wear a few ways. You can even wear this as a clutch if you want to tuck the chain inside. Or this bag. So with this bag, it has this chain and the chain stays on. It, it does not detach. But this guitar strap does detach. So, and it is adjustable. So you can leave it on and it's a much more casual bag that you can wear on your shoulder or wear as a crossbody. Or recently, actually for my birthday, I took the big strap off and just carried it by the chain that there you go, like that. Or you could even just carry it as a clutch with the chain dangling and tuck it under your arm. So now that we've gone through all of those things, the actual bag is a magnetic closure and it's pretty structured and it has two pockets and a breath mint on the inside. I'm obsessed with these lifesaver mints. I just have them in all my purses now. Anyway, it has a smaller pocket that runs the length of the bag and then a much bigger one back here. And you can fit a lot in this bag, a surprising amount of things in this bag. And I just love the color. It's really happy, it's really pretty. And oddly, even though it is a hot raspberry pink, it goes with a lot of things. It's almost a neutral. I honestly can't remember if I've shared this bag specifically before or not, so we're gonna share it again. This is from YSL or Saint Laurent, I think as they're calling themselves now. And if I had to pick one luxury handbag brand that I would recommend to people who are starting out, it would not be Louis Vuitton. I think Louis Vuitton makes beautiful bags. They used to be more accessible. None of these are budget friendly by any stretch of the imagination, but that Louis Vuitton has bumped their prices up so much for just their canvas bags. It's, it's kind of insane. YSL has stayed pretty consistent and they make beautiful bags. They're classic shapes. They're wearable in a lot of occasions. And this was definitely one of the ones that I would say, if you're gonna get one bag from a brand to start out with, this is the one. Comes in a bunch of colors. I am a sucker for neutral. If I'm gonna spend this much money on a handbag, I wanna be able to wear it with as many outfits as I can. 
I love the gold branding. Here's what I love about it. So the older version of this, just maybe a couple years ago, was just smooth leather, just this all the way across. The newer version, this one, has, what do I have back here? I recently wore this to a ladies' lunch and I have the receipt from my lunch and a business card from one of the ladies that I met there. Okay, anyway, the <laughs> exterior pocket is big enough, I don't have my phone with me, to fit my iPhone Pro Max 15 in here. And then the inside, first of all, it zips shut, which I do appreciate a bag that zips. And on the inside, it has a slip pocket that you can't see because it's lined in black in the inside. I don't know why handbag brands haven't figured this out. Line it in white, line it in yellow, line it in something so we can see the inside. So I don't have a flashlight. If I did, you could see inside here better, but it has a slip pocket here and then just one big pocket. This is another one that if you need a handbag to go to concerts and you know different events that require a, a smaller size handbag and it doesn't have to be a clear bag, this will pass all of those requirements. So staying with YSL, and I mentioned the baby Nikki. So I did a video a long time ago unboxing or reviewing the medium Nikki, which is quite a bit larger. Then I got the baby Nikki late summer, early fall. This color is not always available, and I really, really wanted this color. I love this tan. If you have the original Marnie Satchel, it's this color, and this color inspired actually the creation of the Marnie bag because I wanted a smaller tote type satchel in this, what I think is an extremely neutral color. So I love this size and let me get the Amazon one back so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is a little bit closer to the actual larger Nikki, but it's a very similar structured shape with the front flap and the chain that pulls through the top. So this on the front has the logo in the same color as the leather on the back. It does have the exterior slip pocket that has like a magnetic closure. I will say that my iPhone 14 does not fit lengthwise. I have to put it up and down and the top sticks out a little bit. It's not the end of the world. This is what brought to mind the Amazon bag. It has the shoulder straps. This does have the nice feature that both straps have the leather top, but you can pull it all the way through and make this a crossbody bag or wear it as a double strap. So I like that. And then on the inside, it has a smaller front pocket and then mine is stuffed, hang on. Again, lined in black and it does have a really nice deep kind of slip pocket along the back. That's usually where I put my wallet. I have like a card wallet that's just very flat. And then it has a very big main compartment in here. You can fit quite a bit. So I love the size of this. It's deceptively large. I mean, it's not, it's a smaller handbag, but it's so versatile. I have never been tempted to buy two of the same bag, but I would love to get this one in the black as well. Like I said, I prefer versatility in a handbag and because of the size and the way the straps go, I feel like I can get a ton of use out of this one. And while I love wearing this one more in the fall, I do wear it year round. Then we come to what is the crown of my collection. I picked this bag out for myself in October when I was in Dallas for the LTK convention. I had been nominated for a creator award. I, I had turned 50 that year. It was just a big year for me. Professionally, I hit a bunch of milestones. I was recognized in my field for my contribution, so to speak and turning 50 was kind of a big deal. Some great stuff had gone on in my personal life and I decided I was ready for the big splurge and I wanted to treat myself to a handbag I'd been eyeing for a very long time. This is not a justification, I'm just explaining what was going through my head. So I went to the Dior store with Lisa Lisa D1, which made it that much more special to purchase this in person with a friend that I rarely get to see in person. And this is when I got the small Dior lady bag. Now I know many of you are going to ask me what color this is, what the material is, I, I don't know. The bag itself does come in a million iterations and different leathers and different canvases and different materials. But I, again, I wanted something I could wear with all the things. And here's what, there's so many things I love about this bag. It's super elegant. I mean, I just think she's beautiful and elegant. I like the small size. I tried the medium. It seemed a little dowdy, matronly. It was just more bag in this shape than I wanted to carry. I 
wanted this bag to be able to be worn casually during the day to luncheons and more formal events. And the smaller size, you absolutely can get away with carrying this to an evening affair. I love the little charms. I think they're, you know, it says Dior. They're all kind of in there together. Now it does come with this detachable strap, which I feel makes the bag a lot more casual. So you can wear it over your shoulder or crossbody. And when you buy it online too, but in store, you get to pick up to three charms come with the purchase of the bag. And then of course, they're happy to take your money if you wanna buy more of them. So I just got MG, my initials, and a heart. And then this comes off and you can carry the bag on its own. Now it doesn't have like a zip top, but it has this flap that covers everything that's inside the bag. And I can fit my iPhone in here and it has a zip pocket down at the bottom. And there she is. That's, it's just, it's a beautiful, elegant, classic bag. It's called the Lady Bag because Lady Diana, Princess Diana, loved this bag. And it has the feet on the bottom too, so you can set it down and not worry about getting it dirty. And I highly doubt I will splurge like this again on a bag like this, but if I did, just like the baby Nikki, I am very tempted to order this again or purchase this again in the solid black option to carry to a more formal evening event. But because I'm early invited or have the occasion to go to like a black tie affair, probably not gonna happen and we're gonna just stick with just the one Dior bag. And now we are down to the last bag, my most recent acquisition, my birthday present that I just got the end of March. Lisa Lisa D1's ears must be burning because I saw her unbox this on one of her fairly recent videos. And the minute I saw it, I knew, like I immediately clicked the link, saved it, and I said, this is gonna be my next bag. This is also from Gucci, and I have to admit, I am partial to Gucci because the G's, I'm gold girl here on YouTube, but my actual last name is Goldberg, so it's G and G there. So this is kind of, you know, it's my monogram. We're gonna go with that, that's a good excuse. This is the Gigi, oh my gosh, is this bad that I don't know? The Gigi Blondie top handle. And yes, it is metallic silver. I love this. It is so fun. Metallics are a big trend, but I'm not thinking about what's big now. I just, this is gonna be a classic bag. I actually have a Gigi, I think it's called the Soho bag or the Disco bag that I got, I think for my 40th birthday. So 11 years ago and a pewter metallic, I still carry it all the time. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very similar concept. This one is slightly bigger, which was one of the reasons that I picked it. So one of the reasons I picked this, I love this metallic silver leather, although it does come in quote unquote normal, non-metallic, like nude and black and so forth. But I love the silver. I also love, again, the versatility of this thing. So I love that you can carry it by its top handle without this strap and it's a little more formal and it, you know, going out to a date night or a nice dinner or whatever, carry it that way. But it also has the adjustable, detachable strap. So if I want to carry it during the day or for a more casual thing, then that works there. I do also love the details. So I love the GG on the zippers. And this is a really cool feature. So as you unzip it, it unzips from the top and then folds out almost like a doctor's bag. But do you see how on the sides it has the material right here, the leather? So your stuff doesn't fall out when you open the bag. And it opens up quite nicely. I haven't, I mean, I literally, I am filming this April 1st. I just got this March 30th. So it has not been out in the wild yet. I have not done anything with it. So it's just a big open compartment. And then I think you can see it better this way. It has a little slip pocket. I don't even know what I would put in there, if anything, right there. So it can fit my phone, it can fit my wallet, lipstick, powder, quite a few things. I mean, it's a good size. It's like the size of my head. So this is the latest and I absolutely love it. And we are actually going to a comedy concert on the evening of the third and I will be bringing this with me as my bag. So there you have it, the latest bags to enter my handbag collection. There's always room for more. So I'm sure in a few years, I will be able to update this again. But for now, this is it. I will link everything that I can still find down below, including what I'm wearing as far as makeup and earrings and this top, which I love this top. I'm hoping it's not reflecting too much light back into the camera because it's actually satin, but this is from Walmart and I absolutely 
adore it. So anyway, that's it for the handbags. Let me know which one were your favorites. And if you have any handbag favorites, whether it's from a Walmart, Amazon price point or a luxury handbag price point, and you think I need to know about it, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.